How do we do our show, Corwin? Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam. That's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming. We're playing Super Mario Odyssey, and we are the one looking for cats to play with the Pauline Mayor. We're a couple of fat cats with thin stacks just looking around. Thin cats with fat back. Backs. <laughs> oh, back cats. That's what Have we you are. Ever had fat back? Fat back? What the hell is fat back? Is that it's another like, people thing? No, it's like super fatty bacon. And it, it's kind of like pork like belly. It. Have you ever had pork belly? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's. I don't like it, honestly. Yeah. Like, it's like it's it too either. fatty for me. Underground power system seems to power plant words and things. Yeah, the the power's out and we need to fix it. And she just she goes, I don't suppose you're familiar with uh with underground repair work, are you? It's just like no, I'm bitch, not I'm a plumber. plumber. <laughs> Mind you, I don't do a lot of plumbing. Mostly <laughs> usually, I fight monsters. Usually I fight uh, I fight my girlfriend's boyfriend. Yeah, I'm constantly fighting my girlfriend's boyfriend. That's just what I do. Whee! You just keep falling. That's the thing. If like if they had been a little bit more enlightened about their relationship, then there wouldn't be any need for all of these uh, these kidnappings and and whatnot. Yeah. Is that the death ooze? Yes, it's death ooze. It's death <laughs> You know, my favorite like ooze villain was Ivan, Ivan ooze. ooze. This is uh, I, I should just bring up a counter every time you mention well, him. Well, because the ooze just pops up, and I think about Mister yeah. Ivan. Plus, he was such a good villain. Monsieur Ivan. Monsieur Ivan face. It's the Ivan. It's the it's new a new uh, new car product brought to you by Apple. Yep. <laughs> you know, it's, it's whenever I think about stuff like that, I always think about the immortal words of uh, of that immortal guy. No. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say of, of Da Vinci, actually. <laughs> okay, I was gonna I, I say. Think, I think I think of Da Vinci. I think of his immortal statement where he said, and I quote, "Yeah, I think no. BitTorrent would be a really good thing to invest in." No. Think what? I'm just. I didn't hear you because I was busy dying. I, I actually misspoke anyway. His actual quote, Da Vinci actually said, was, "Yeah, I think Bitcoin would be a great investment." <laughs> So, wait, what did you say instead of Bitcoin? I said BitTorrent, which is very different. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to invest in that, because that's literally just it illegal. not investments. It's literally just illegal. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I thought you might kick his head all the way down that. That would have been neat. Woohoo! Oh, no, One plus to Mario not. is that he <laughs> always makes himself sound fun. That's true. He's like, always having a good time. What really baffles me about Mario is how is he still pudgy? Yeah, he's really like, athletic. He is constantly he's running. He's got one of those bodies, man. He's it's just not run his in, fault. run it's in, just... and run in, run in, and run in, run in, and yeah. Well, it's just not his fault, man. It's genetics. That's just kind of how he, how he is. I know, but like you he's can't. He's really athletic, but he's got that pudge. He can't get rid of. It's his baby fat. He never got rid of it. I don't. I don't understand that. Like See, it's actually it's a safety it's thing. Physics. Babies. Babies have baby fat to keep them safe from their inevitable, consistent falling downs and hurting themselves. He does it so much that his baby fat was like, dude, we can't get out of here. <laughs> He's going to, like, break his knee or something. He won't be able to save the princess. So baby fat stayed in the picture because his baby fat is sentient and very no! thoughtful. No, 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 no. There, was, there was a lot of right ways to do that, and that you did it the wrong way. I... <sighs> but it's all right. You're practically mortal in this game because it only costs you, like, five coins to die. So... That's you're you're not wrong. Oh god. I yeah. This this section is kind of difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you, Corwin. Don't lie to me, Adam. I might lie to you. Adam you I there's no there's this is a, almost like a non sequitur, but you just, almost you, you saying from you? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, just made me think of that. One of the best gifts Adam ever got me was a teacup. Well not teacup, sorry, a tea kettle. With uh Oh god! Now I'm trying. All of a sudden. Oh, I'm gonna make you remember it. I'm not gonna help um, you. Um, Lionel Richie. There you go. Lionel's Richie's face. Lionel's on it. Richie. Lionel's Richie's face on it, and it said, "Hello, is it tea you're looking for?" On the thing, and it was amazing. At the same time that you got that for me, I was hanging out at this coffee shop slash. Uh, it wasn't even a coffee shop. It was actually it was a board game bar. 
and um, but I only drank coffee there mostly. No, I had some beers. I'm not, I'm lying. I had I had both. <laughs> Corwin um, lying to the audience? Yeah, Surely they, not. They know how honest I am. But um, <clears throat> okay. They had that up on the wall, and I loved it. And then I opened up a gift from Adam one day, and it, I was like, "This is amazing." Yep, it's what I do. I just be amazing, bitch. <laughs> I'm I'm fine. I was talking to Mario. It's gonna, yeah. Get first hand look at the problem down here. The power plant looks like looks that. Like Bowser most your monsters friends need to be taught a new donk lesson. Whip it out. All right. This right here. This is new. Wow. That's the noise. That's the noise it makes. Just in case you were wondering. You just took them both down like it was nobody's business. Yeah, th that part was easy. It's the platforming that, uh, gets, that gets dicey. Same with my onions Can when I I'm making... Can I ask you what kind of dice? Uh, just like a medium dice. Like D4s, D8s, D10s? No, 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 like for cooking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know so why really I didn't like, think of that. Like D6s, <laughs> because that's... And that's why they call it dicing, I think. They came up in one of my statistics class. She just she was like, ah, they roll a dice in this. And I had to be like, all right, we need to know how many sides are on this die. And this old lady was really confused, and I was like... Dice come in all shapes and sizes. I need to know. And she's like, a six-sided die. And I was like, Don't you side Thank shame you. me. <laughs> Don't you dice shame uh, me. See, this just makes me sad. Because look at all those fucking moons. And I have to go all over the goddamn world. It's just like, just have a rolling brown out there, Pauline. <laughs> also, rolling brown out is a terrifying sex move. And is... Finally kick off the festival with style. That's like my yes. new favorite band name. <laughs> Got rolling brown out. <laughs> You're from the Poop Olympics. What? Just, <laughs> why just, Why are there bands at the Poop Olympics? All the bands at the Poop Olympics are making a lot of money because not a lot of bands are in that field. Oh, maybe they got banned from the regular Yeah, Olympics. they did. Now they're here at the Poop Olympics. Basically, everyone <laughs> oh, who lives God. out in the middle of nowhere has been practicing for the Poop Olympics for a long time. Hang on, shut up. Oh. Oh. God, yes. How are you doing, cartoon lady? I'm okay. I'm okay. It's, I see it's your fine. eyes are Gigantic. far too big. <laughs> Pink eye is a nightmare for you, I imagine. I mean, it's a nightmare for everybody. Yeah, I remember when I was a little kid, I think I got pink eye or whatever it was. I remember I woke up and I couldn't open my eyes and I was terrified. That, yeah, that is that is pink eye. That's okay. conjunctivitis. Yeah. Because my have... eyes had crusted over. Oh, thanks. Thanks, buddy. You're I'm welcome. sure... I'm sure our audience appreciate. Whoops, I had to, I had to go to the bathroom it as and like, much as I just did. Just get all about the crust that. off my oh, eyes. God, shut the fuck so up! I open shut them. up! Murder you! <laughs> You're so, all the murders. That's um, a lot of murders, man. All, all of, of them? them. Every single possible murder. Like all of Dahmer's like murders. Every all group of... of crows that has ever happened. <laughs> Uh, I do love crows. They are very what smart. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, I'm giant sorry, eyes. Man. Giant eyes. All uh, right. Like anthropologically, uh, that has been linked to uh, uh, essentially human ideals of attractiveness is one of the things is large eyes. Because they can see danger coming. No, it's uh, it's actually the, the theory that I uh, saw the one time was that you like babies have giant eyes because your eyes are the same size when you're like your eyes don't grow with you your mm -hmm. eyeballs are the the same size mm -hmm. as they always are and there is the instinctual protection thing uh to look after babies because obvious reasons because yeah, you want to babies you know, keep the species alive Dur. um so that is the theory that I read about why uh, I like to throw back to Donkey people Kong. People right find, here. yeah, this is amazing. I yeah, I haven't been giving, I haven't been talking about how great the game is because oh, we, cool. I feel like we've talked about how great the game is a lot. We have, and I'm curious about these baby eyes. I just uh, wanted but to point yeah, out the Donkey Kong. Uh, thing here. Adults will find adults with large eyes more attractive because of like the latent "I'm going to protect this baby" outlook thing. Don't read too much into that audience. We're not talking about baby bangers. We're talking about large eyes. Die, you big ape. Damn dirty ape. Oh, my God. Have you seen? I haven't actually had a chance to watch it yet. I just know that it exists. 
Because uh, you're not wearing clothes, really. You pop out of that in the first second. I legitimately thought he was naked. Just like, oh boy. Yeah. Here, can you reach it? Oh. <laughs> Dude, I was trying to just make the height difference joke. <laughs> Jumping on her head makes whole new level really to that. That was really funny. Yay, dedicating the festival to me. We couldn't have done it without your help. Please accept this as a gift. Yes. Sweet. Now I just need to get one more, and then we can go to the next level. I'm, I'm trying to... I didn't say it out loud yet. I'm trying to streamline and not spend as much time just randomly getting moons. It's just going to be like, get enough to move on and move the hell on. Mm-hmm. Just like my sex life. What? Yeah, pretty much. That doesn't make any sense. That's terrible. Well, we'll, we'll get I'm the rest of I'm ashamed of that joke. We'll get and on more the next on the episode, next episode yeah. I'll make more regrettable jokes. Uh, speaking of big eyes, what do you guys think is Adam's Eye's first anime that we watched? That wasn't even planned! <laughs> yes! Answer down below. We'll record Check the right lock. answers and give shout-outs to people who get it right. Give us game suggestions down there as well. And we'll try to play them. If you like our stuff, subscribe to the channel. And please share the videos around to as many people as you can. Bye, everybody. Yo. Yup. Zoop.